Hello everyone, today I want to show you guys how to do button groups. This allows you to select uh, only one button in a group at a time and only one will be selected or pressed at the time. So right now, let's run this. Right now you can only have, well, they're either pressed or not pressed. So, there you go, and update and these. So what button groups do is disable the other buttons that are not selected. So let's first we have to tell the buttons to always be pressed or to be in toggle mode I should say. So let's select all the buttons and these as well and then set them to be toggle mode on. All right. So now let's check again. There you go. So those are all on at the moment. These are already toggle mode. That I uh, just want to be a button. And let's first go on one of the buttons. Let's go on this low here and go scroll onto here. And there is a group set in. There you are. And it's a new button group. And let's just save that real quick. And let's say set in one button group button group all right so now that we have that saved you can grab these and then just drop this on them so they should all be on the same thing so let's run this and now we have those only one can be on at a time. So that's pretty useful for stuff. Now, let's show you how to actually get the buttons. So let's create a script. New script. Button. So let's just grab one button. So on ready var. Let's set in one button. Or right, set in one button. All right, let's just write it out. Button. And uh, set in one button. So with that now, we could say, let's do it on ready. So var group equals set in one button dot group. And now I could say group or let's print it out print group dot buttons get buttons and if we run that here it is button button two and button three and that's just their rids i think all right so say we want to use that for something let's get rid of this one Let's go ahead and create a group on these buttons. A group on um, new save as and mesh color group. Mesh color group. There you go. And it should be an all. Test that again. There you go. Now it's only one of those and one of these. And it's not dependent on their location so these could all have these are different parent they could all have the same uh same group as well so let's create that there save it as a checkbox checkbox group so again there you go only one can be selected at a time all right so as i was saying over here I have a uh, a box and it has an animation for the camera rotating around it and then the mesh has a shader that I could change the color for so I'm gonna use that to change the color with the menu so first let's go here go here now we could say funk update color and then we pass the color here 
and I'm gonna use a signal to do that. So let's create a signal. Oops. Signal and update color. Here we just check. We can get all these buttons, or we could just grab one from the. Um, let's just grab red. The on ready bar. Red. Let's see bar group equals red dot group. Now we could say group bar buttons equals group oops, group dot get buttons, or we could even check get press button. Okay. Now we could say if if a button dot name equals red and print. Let's just do a print for now. Print red or active. Copy that. The green, then blue. Then we can go here. Let's attach this update script. So on hit its button press to do update color. That's not important yet. So let's just first do um. Let's put anything here. Zero for now. We're not using it, so. so if we run this script again, I could check if red pressed here, red active and green. Uh, I didn't change them. You get it. Green, and then blue. There, green active, blue, red. So what I want to do now is to emit this signal. So let's go here. The emit signal uh, update color. Actually, I didn't need this here and then pass it whatever color I want. So I want a I want red to be here so One zero zero and let's copy that This is here. This is here green blue Zero zero All right Then we could do this here to so leave that alone We'll save so now this is being emitted so now we could save this and we can go to the world go to the tree view let's attach that menu and save again now on the on the menu let's select update color here attach it to the world then pass it this oh then set new color, set new color, or set color new, and then pass that call. And that should be it. So now let's run the world instead. There you go. If I click red, it should change it to red. I have to press update here. R, red, green, blue. Alright, guys. So that's it for this tutorial. Like and subscribe. Alright, take care.